WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant, sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. The Dow's off 77 points, S&P down 10, NASDAQ 100, 100 points, Russell's off 20, semis are up 2, New York Stock Exchange is up 20, trannies are off a buck 25, gold's up 5 bucks, silver's up 30 cents, lights recruit up 14 pennies, natural gas up 2 cents, a 30 year treasury down 22 ticks, printed out at 118.06. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We take a look at the ES mini upper left hand side. What do we know about it? Well, it still retains its Rhodes momentum indicator top. We need to close about 50, 60, 650 to negate that. It's trading with inside bullish and bearish structured profile because I have two different sets of profiles on the two different systems that I use out here. But it is trading between support and resistance. Resistance being 50-52, support being 49-39. Both have been tested this week. Sounds like a consolidation to Stevie. If you take a look at spot volatilities, you want to watch where that closes today. Right now, it's printing above the 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 1369. Price is at 1396. Close below 1369 should give the coast is clear sign to the ES mini. Short of that, any kind of uh, rug pulls would be most certainly to the downside. Of course, the rug pull, I would think, would be to the downside. If we take a look at the NQ, the interesting thing here, it has a Roach momentum indicator signal, has not yet generated a bearish reversal candle. But you can see that today's candle has exceeded both the high and low of yesterday. And if this closes one tick, to the downside, that would be your bearish reversal candle. Right now, it's a bearish engulfing candle. Don't know if that will hold up during the day. So you want to watch the close on the NQ. One tick to the downside, it will have a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to sell off and that it's going to bust through support, which has already been tested this week at 17,531, just like resistance was tested. We had a little close above it yesterday. We're back below that at 17,925. U.S. dollar index traded a bit lower. It uh, did find that resistance at the bottom of that weekly profile. It's trading with inside its uh, profile. It's a very narrow profile, uh, support at 103.66, uh, resistance at 104.42. We've got Goldilocks. It's got a TD9 count bottom. On this chart here, the problem is that you've got overhead supply. That means a new profile that has already formed above price. That is a bearish message out here. Doesn't mean that price won't try to plow through that area. I'm just sharing with you, that is a bearish message. We take a look at silver. Silver could generate a profile change in trend signal uh, if it closes above 2321 today. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. But if you're out to start your Friday, have a fabulous one. Have a fantastic weekend. And we'll see you again on Tuesday. But stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. Take care, folks.